I'm Greg with Greg Jet Brushing, and today we're going to show you guys a couple of different hard hats. Our next project is a hard hat, and uh, usually when they come in, they're either the plastic or the fiberglass type. They're a little bit beat up, but after we prime them and repair them and get them prepped ready to go to paint, they come out looking like this right here. So the theme that we're going to put on this hard hat here is going to be the Dallas Cowboy theme. And uh, as I progress through the project, we'll come back and show you guys some video footage of some of the artwork that's on it. Talk to you soon. Okay, so the customer wanted their name on the front, like you see here. And uh, I cut out the, uh, the font that the customer wanted. I laid it down and then I went back into it. And uh, I added some lightning bolts. As you can see, these are the basis for lightning bolts. So I'm going to actually add a lightning bolt to it that kind of drags out here, and you guys can see how I did it. There's a couple of different ways to make lightning bolts. Here's one, which is your more straight, edgy sort of lightning bolt. As you can see, really no big deal on how you do it. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of a overspray over top of the line that I just created. Nothing really special. I'm going to add one here. And once again, this is a different style of lightning bolt. This is more of your curvy, more of, I, I call them kind of a live lightning bolt. And still again, after I get finished with it, I dust a little overspray over the top of it. So later on, I'm going to show you guys how to add white to it to bring the lightning bolt to light. I'm going to go ahead and put the lay down the uh, tape to get my center line uh, laid out, and then I'll color it in, and then I'll come right back to you guys. As you guys can see, we went ahead and uh, laid the stripe down and uh, we ran it all the way to the back side of it. And I uh, started adding just a little bit of white to uh, kind of give us some highlight to see which direction I'm going with it. We just got a uh, call from the customer, Chino. He says, hey, go ahead and get it done. So we're gonna get his hard hat done today and in the mail tomorrow. Uh, so let me show you how I'm actually handling these letters. Let's clean off the needle. And I'm just simply adding a thin line. And then I'm going to build off that line with a little shadow. To give the letter something more to look at. Now I'll come back with white and I'll trim the upper parts of these letters here and put a little highlight on them like the uh, lightning is either hitting the letters or just reflecting on them. Alright. Nothing really special or hard to do. If you kind of get within your area where you're working, uh, a little bit of overspray in that area, don't worry about it. This right here is just a foundation. So when I come back in with my white, I'll crispen everything up. And turn it right here just a little bit. Okay. And again, 
the line, and a little shadow. I'm going to try not to fill it in too much because you want to make sure that everyone can read it. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the illustration paint. And back to work. See, I was actually able to use that paint right out of the bottle with no problem. over the hard hat and see if there's any area that I feel like needs a little bit more lightning and I'm gonna come off of this here just kind of fill in this area here and again as you can see really no nothing hard about lightning All right. I'm gonna dust some blue over the top of it and I am ready to start adding my white. Okay, so now uh, we're ready to add the white, our highlights to our lightning and to the uh, name Chino. And you remember how we lay down the blue? Now we're just kind of kind of follow the inside of the blue. Nothing too detailed. Okay, this is a little hard to do. But just follow your line, okay? Also, the letters. Here's how you handle the letters. And that little thin area that we left open. And now we're going to have this lightning here kind of strike the letter. All right. I'm going to go across a couple of these letters here. And again, we're going to follow our blue. Okay, I'm going to show you guys again how we get that lightning effect. So, remember how we trace these the different styles of lightning out. Watch, I'm going to go back, right back into it. Nothing too hard. And follow the blue layout that we just laid out. The blue lines that we just laid out. Okay. And again. And usually where they connect, I may add a little hot spot. But here's how you get lightning to look like lightning. Watch how thin I add a line that's kind of following the bigger lightning bolt. That's how you get lightning to look like lightning. All right. Okay, whiten up a little of my hot spotted areas, and we're good to go. So hopefully that helps you with how to do hard hat, do a hard hat, as well as apply lightning and highlights to lightning. I'm going to go ahead and finish it and uh, show you guys what it looks like afterwards. We're going to brushing, and uh, we finished up the hard hat uh, with the name Chino written across it. And we're about to get it in the mail, but I want to show you guys what it looked like uh, after we clear coat it. As you can see, uh, a little bit more detail within the, uh, the artwork that was on it, just to get the name to pop. And uh, we clear coated it with an automotive clear coat. Uh, check back with us uh, here in the immediate future. We'll have a uh, tutorial on clear coating and prepping. 
uh, whatever uh, surface you're, uh, you're going to be painting. So uh, in most cases, prepping is 90% of the job. So uh, it's very important. And as you can see, it's a completed job. It's clear coated. It's nice and shiny. Uh, and we're about to go ahead and get it in the mail now.